Hello, is this Mark Shapiro? Mr. Shapiro, I'm sorry to inform you, but your wife's been involved in a drunk driving incident. She's in the emergency room now, but when you did come down and fill out some paperwork, sorry, are you still with me? Sorry, are you still with me? Calm down. Good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry I'm late. Traffic was horrendous, actually. Quite a bit of accidents. Um, it looks like we have a new addition today. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to our uh, humble class? I'm Michelle. How do you do, Michelle? Um, tell us about yourself. About my injury? Oh, only if you'd like to. Okay. Um, this is my second support group. Hmm. What made you want to join our humble one? Um, I was in a paralyzed. It was a group for paraplegics. And now I'm here. Mm. What exactly happened? Well, I just can't get that day out of my head. The more I think about it, the angrier I get. I just remember the back of his fucking car sorry his car i mean next thing i know i'm in this chair the more i think about it the angrier i get and it just pisses me off because he didn't get anything he got out scot-free i'm terribly sorry to hear that michelle um, uh, excuse me i'm sorry Bed. Five. Well, it's, um, it's better than last week. What are you focused on? You know most hit and run accidents go unsolved? I mean, they say you can't go to trial unless you recognize the driver. Unless someone confesses. Right. I just don't know why ever, nobody ever came through. Well, it's because he's a coward. Okay, that's why. He doesn't want to pay for it or, or go to jail. More importantly, he doesn't want anyone to know that he crippled a woman. I just don't understand why nobody's ever come through and confessed. And neither do I. What would you do if you found him? I'd punch him. No, you wouldn't. You're right. I'd shoot him. Mark. Michelle. I love you. Me too. Gotta go to work. Don't kill anybody. I'll try. Anything I hadn't done a million times before, it just... I don't know, it's just I just didn't ever thought that one day it would be... I don't know, something that like actually mattered, you know? Can you hold that thought, please? <clears throat> Michelle, is something on your mind? No. Have you been sleeping much? Nope, not really. I just, I can't, can't get that day out of my head. The more I think about it, the more pissed off I get. The guy who did this to me is still out there. Maybe he's getting drunk. Maybe he's grabbing his keys right now. 
And maybe another girl's gonna get it tonight. Who knows? They haven't caught him yet? No. I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. I don't know what I would do if I ever saw him again. I really don't. Dan, it, it's late. Why are you calling me? I, I need to get something off my chest, please. Just meet me for dinner tomorrow at 6 o'clock, please. There's just some matters we need to discuss. 6 o'clock. Yeah, I'll be there. What was that? It was Dan. He wants to meet for dinner tomorrow. He hit me. Well, what, what do you want to do? I want to talk to him. I want to meet with him. I think that we should call the police. You know, just cut out the middleman. With what evidence? I mean... We don't have any proof. Alright, we need to get him to talk. We need, we need to be locked up. I want to put him behind bars just as much as you do. Damn it, Michelle! I don't want to go to dinner with the with the person who did this to you. We're not going to dinner. I'll record it with my phone, and we can get everything on tape. You said six. Yeah. All right, we'll be there. Are hey, you ready yet? Almost. A chair? Yeah, you already gave her one of those. Look, I just invited you guys out of here. You just need to apologize and get off my chest. So what, you're, you're just sorry? Is that it? What can we do? I mean, low point of my life. A low point in your life? No, so I, I got that part, you know. But there's a whole other side of the story that's really fuzzy. Enlighten me. Which part? The part where you leave my wife bleeding in the fucking street. Okay, do you understand the gravity of the situation? Like, do you even understand what you've done? Please, just understand what I'm trying to do here. What are you trying to do? Make amends, just fix what I've done. If anyone finds out, I'm done. There is no fresh starts from that. Fresh starts? You want to know about fresh starts? Dan, look at me. When I was 13, I joined the track and field team. I used to run marathons. I was athletic. I can't even have babies anymore. And you took that from me. I forgive you. I shouldn't. I shouldn't at all. But I do. I forgive you. And if you're really sorry, you need to turn yourself in. I don't think I'm capable. What have you?
you got to lose? I've lost my legs. My life? I, I... I lost my life a long time ago. I've spent so long rebuilding everything since this. And you don't think we have? You've left me nothing but pain and suffering and tons of medical bills. The least you could do is turn yourself in. You need to go. Like, go. What are you thinking? I couldn't protect you. I always think back and, you know, maybe there was something I could have done. You know, maybe I could have been there for you more. You used to love those marathons. Running was your passion. You were always good at it. It was what you wanted. It was what you wanted in life and you would be there and it would always be me on the sides and I was watching and I'd cheer you on every single time. And then he hits you and now I'm the only one cheering from the sidelines of the hospital bed. Did he have to experience that? Did he have to see you lying there? Did he have to care? Did he have to pay for the medical bills? But at what point is that going to bring my legs back? I love you. I love you too. And he's just going to go scot-free and you're, you're just okay with that. Honey, we've dealt with this pain for far too long. I just... I look in that man's eyes and I know he's suffering. Not to our extent. But I can see it. This is Michelle. Hello, uh, Ms. Shapiro. This is Officer Gorman. Uh, you were involved in a hit and run on September 23rd, 2014, correct? That is correct. We found the driver. He confessed a little while ago. He has now been apprehended. We will let you know the times for the hearing. That's great, officer. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You as well. What did he say? Dan did the right thing. 